In this video, you'll learn the right way to decline invitations to holiday events that you just don't want to attend. One of the most stressful things that we are all dealing with is being stretched out too thin. We just feel like we have way too much to do and we don't have any time for ourselves. Remember that when you say yes, when you should say no, you're not doing anybody any favors by demonstrating that you are not going to honor yourself or your time enough to manage it and tell people, unfortunately, there's none left for you. <laughs> you know, there's nothing wrong with saying that, but we want to say it in the best way possible, right? So the most simple way to decline a holiday invitation, whether it's in a text or in an email or in person or on the phone, it's a simple four-step script. It's the four S's, and you might be familiar with this if you've taken some of my courses. If you are interested in taking some of my courses, check out the link below. And the four S's is this. Sympathize, say no, say why, suggest alternatives. Simple. And it can be used in just about any situation, not just for the holidays, but anything. Sympathize, say no, say why, suggest alternatives. Remember, if you still haven't downloaded your free communication starter kit, you can do so by clicking the link in the description or right up there. The sympathize sounds simple, but a lot of us skip this step. It's just saying something like, you know, that sounds really great, or I wish that I could, or, oh, that sounds like a lot of fun. Anything that just says, hey, I understand that you are extending to me a courtesy and you're being gracious and I don't want to just say no before I acknowledge that. Step number two, you have to say no. A lot of people, when we say no, we think we're saying no, but we're not really saying no. You know, somebody will come over and they'll say to us, hey, hey, we're having a holiday party. What do you think of this Saturday? Can you come at seven o'clock? And we'll try to think fast and we'll say something like, oh, I can't. And he'll say, why not? What are you doing? Well, you know, my, 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 my in-laws are in town. Bring them along. Well, I can't, you know, they, they're, um, my, my mom is, is sick. You're in luck, I'm a nurse. Well, you know, she, it's not that she, she broke her hip. I got a wheelchair in the car. Uh, you know, and you just start to go crazy. And then what you finally do is say, okay, fine. That sounds great. And then you pull down all the shades on Saturday night and pretend that you're not home. Don't do that. What are the types of things that are really stressing you out this holiday season? If you could just take a minute and jot it in the comments, I would appreciate that. And just like in this video, I'm addressing some of the previous comments I got. I will try to look through those and address as many as I can in an upcoming video before the year is over. Part of the four step process is actually saying no. When I don't say no, you know, when I s try to skip around the no and say something such as, oh, I'd love to come, but my mother-in-law's in town, so maybe, you know, after the new year, what I'm doing is I'm sending a message to your brain, hey, I'd like to come, but I'm telling you what my obstacles are that I'd like to overcome, so please help me overcome them, will you? So the other person will think of ways to overcome your objections and help you say yes. You will dramatically decrease the odds of that happening if you actually voice a no and say, Unfortunately, I cannot. Unfortunately, I can't. Unfortunately, the answer has to be no. Unfortunately, I'm going to tell you no. However you say it, you have to say no, because that will help save you a lot of time and arguments. And that's why we use a four-step process, because if you don't use a four-step process, if you just kind of wing it, chances are you're going to miss one of these steps, and every one is critical. Like step number three, say why. Remember, there are only two basic things that people tend to ask us for, our time and our money, right? And for most of us, it's as if it's the first time we've ever been asked for these things, when we're asked for them constantly by other people all the time. And remember, if you want to make it easy on yourself, there are just two reasons that you can give for just about anything that people ask you for. It's not in my budget, or I have made other plans. Now, those plans could be, I planned on doing nothing that day. I plan on sitting in front of the television and watching reruns of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Whatever it may be, those are my plans, and I was really looking forward to it. So don't try to rain in my parade, buddy. Instead, I'm just going to tell you, for just about anything, Gosh, that sounds like a lot of fun. However, unfortunately, that day I cannot because I've made other plans. Or that sounds like a lot of fun, but unfortunately I can't because it's not in my budget. Simple. Now, if you like this content, subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell so that you can join us in some of our live events because I'll be notifying people right before they occur. And join us in some of our online courses. We're running some specials on those that'll be gone as soon as the holidays are. So check them out in the links in the description as well, okay? And now I suggest alternatives. But why don't we get together after the new year once things have calmed down a little bit so that I can really enjoy your company? Or, well, why don't we revisit this after the new year and I'll see if I can fit it into my budget if you were asking me for money. And that's all there is to it. Very simple. But most of us just don't take the time to learn a simple process. And so when people ask us, we're taken off guard and we stumble and we stammer and then we eventually end up committing to something that we don't want to commit to. So learn how to say no and honor yourself. And in doing so, by the way, when you say no, you'll be teaching other people that it's okay to say no. It's okay. And people will like that. They won't be put off by it. Most people will appreciate it when you say no because then you know when I say yes, I mean it. 
and I want to participate rather than feel obligated to do so. Remember to support this channel by subscribing to it and sharing this video on places like Facebook and Twitter and any place else people go to get information like this. Check out my holiday specials if you wanted to join one of our courses and still get the best deal. And with that, I hope that you have a holiday season filled with people that you love and tell them that you love them. Okay, there's nothing that you have to say that you can't say in a loving way. So this is Dan O'Connor. I will see you soon. Make sure that in the meantime, check out these other videos. If you like that, you're gonna love these.